Hi everybody, this is Methyl Kaiju, and today I'll be speculating for the movie Godzilla vs. Kong, which is coming out in 2020. There is a specific release date, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. And today I'll be speculating how Godzilla and Kong will meet up, which would obviously lead to a battle, when both are portrayed as heroes, or at least anti-heroes. Now before we go on and speculate, I do want to establish some things. So first of all for Godzilla, uh, Godzilla in the MonsterVerse is here to restore nature's balance. When there is an imbalance, he will try to fix it. Godzilla doesn't care for humans as they are part of nature, but he doesn't really dislike them either. And he could possibly grow a distaste of humans in Godzilla too, but uh, I think that's pretty unlikely because he has to face King Ghidorah and we also have Rodan or Rodan, however you want to pronounce it, and Mothra, so I don't really think there's a need for a human versus Godzilla elements in that movie. Now for King Kong, Kong is the king of Skull Island, he keeps the islands in check, and Kong does care for humans, or at least those who care about the well-being of the island slash nature, as evidenced by Brie Larson's character being saved by King Kong uh, a couple of times. And also another thing to point out is that more monsters will be in the movie and it will have an emotional drive to it. So this is really key. So now let's get on to speculating. Now there is some people who believe that, I don't know, the humans mind control them or somehow they get Godzilla and Kong to fight each other just to kill themselves off, just for there can no longer be a kaiju threat. I personally find that pretty unlikely because you're gonna have to introduce another plot element on how they're able to detain these kaiju that are massive. Keep in mind King Kong will already be really huge by this time. I just think it's really unlikely. So I think the more likely case is the scenario I'm about to say right now. So maybe in the beginning of the movie, uh, the skull crawlers escape Skull Island, and this is possibly because Kong could have not finished defeating the skull crawlers, and maybe the skull crawlers exhaust all the fuels, or excuse me, exhaust all the resources that they needed. So they try and find some new resources, and that leads them to the city. And Kong chases after them through the hollow earth tunnels because keep in mind in the monsterverse the earth is hollow and Godzilla could have sensed this imbalance since the skull crawlers and or Kong aren't where they're supposed to be or B he could be awakened by another kaiju threat who he then later defeats personally I think option A which is him sensing this imbalance makes more sense because if we're just gonna introduce another kaiju threat just for it to be defeated immediately it just doesn't make too much sense so personally the skull crawlers could just be ravaging the city and while King Kong makes his way through the tunnels Godzilla comes in and you know kills off the skull crawlers or something and then Kong you know he gets out of that tunnel he reaches the city and then notices all the skull crawlers just all defeated and wiped out and then he sees exactly who defeated them which is this new possible threat which is Godzilla. Both Godzilla and Kong could fight because Kong is throwing off the balance of nature in Godzilla's mind and he tries to do whatever it takes to fix that and for him a possible solution could be just killing him off and Kong can see Godzilla as a threat since he is mindlessly killing off civilians and since he just eradicated the entire skull crawler population or whatever. Now, whatever the case may be, they have to be portrayed as innocent and non-villainous because if we do have, for example, Kong portrayed as a villain and Godzilla portrayed as a hero, Kong fans wouldn't like that and plus it sways more towards Godzilla. We kind of want it to be kind of in the middle, so a way to do that is to have both Godzilla as a hero and Kong as a hero. Kong can be seen as a hero in that he cares for humans. And we could also have Godzilla seem like a hero in that he wants to protect his domain and keep nature in control. I personally think this is a great scenario 
I didn't really think of this to be honest. Uh, it was just some other ideas I've heard of, kind of added them all together. And I personally think it's a pretty good plot story. It is emotionally driven, it does include other kaiju, and it makes Godzilla and Kong non-villainous. And instead, kind of innocent in a way. So that's basically that for this video. Please tell me in the comments below what are your thoughts on the speculation that I just did right now. Does it seem like a plausible idea? And what other theories do you have on how Godzilla and Kong will meet up and battle each other out in Godzilla vs. Kong? So that's basically all for this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mythical Kaiju, signing out.